have death here. Perfect. I feel like the look of this one is a little too penis-like. I already own this one. We got Moon Knight, but I already own that one. We got some Invincible. Never collected that before. And we got ourselves, oh, by the way, a new shirt. Cool. Got some good stuff. They got the Watchmen Deluxe Edition and the V for Vendetta 30th Anniversary Collection. A whole bunch of Superman and Swamp Thing. Up where they run, up where they walk, up where we stay all day in the... Oh, Doctor Strange. How much is the 30th Anniversary Edition for v of V for Vendetta? A lot, twice as much. They got all the same, but I'm collecting the absolute edition and not the paperback edition. They got Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood. That's pretty awesome. Got some cool stuff. Let me see if I can get it. Cool. And please don't make the super suit green. Or animated. Literal enough for you? No. Scarlet Witch. I feel like my friend Maya, would, who is Angel Dust in the description below, would actually really enjoy this. It's a complete collection. Who can we trust? They literally have the Doctor Strange by Donny Cates complete collection in paperback. And I didn't even know it. No way. They got Secret Invasion. They got Axe Judgment Day, that's pretty awesome, but not really what I'm looking for. I'm waiting for the Omnibus. They got some of the Shazam books in here, that's awesome. They have all the books that could be potential tie- One is a tie-in for the Flash movie, and the other is, is um, is a main comic that's based off of they got Wolverine Origin. That's pretty awesome. They have the Lazarus plant, which is basically about the plant that's entirely of Lazarus pits. Fucking secret invasion. Day four. Hi! This video was taken about six days after I initially recorded these parts that you just saw in the beginning of the video. As you can see, I did buy two books. One online and the other in store because I promised you guys I was gonna do a Barnes and Noble thing where I buy a comic book. And the other one I did buy off of eBay and it's a book I, it, that I have been trying to get for a while. And this other one is, a book I, is another book I've been trying to get for a while because it's a very fascinating concept and I just finished the show for it. And um, hold on, first I need to have a drink of the gods. Dr. Pepper, the best drink. Send me money. Yeah, this, this drink is the best. This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. What I got was Secret Invasion and the Invincible Iron Man Complete Collection by Brian Michael Bendis. And that book actually leads into Civil War II. It's a storyline between Captain Marvel and Iron Man. I have no idea what Iron Man has with doing a civil war with people. Secret Invasion, The Invisible Iron Man. One other thing I need to show you. Just uh, am working on my Inhumans books and then I'm gonna be doing Invisible Iron Man, then these books. So I am really excited to do those and I love how on the cover of Inhumanity you have Black Bolt and his original pose for the Inhumans. Anyway, that's not the point. The point of the video is I got two new books and I wanna show them to you. And I got them during my little run to Barnes and Nobles, I decided to record anyway because I actually got a new phone. And it's the phone I'm recording with right now. And the quality has actually gotten better a bit. And finally, the front camera of my phone, like the like the one on the back of the phone, I don't know why I call it the front camera. Those three cameras on the phone are not smudged anymore. So finally, they're clean quality for when I make movies. Before we continue, I actually just want to say, please make sure to subscribe. It would really help the channel a lot. And I'm really close to getting to 120 subscribers. And thank you everybody so much for getting me here. And please do leave a like on the video. And it would really help out and show your appreciation. Comment down below what kind of books you want me to do next or what kind of videos you want me to do next. I'm really excited to bring a bunch of stuff and ideas that I have to you. But if you guys have ideas, let me know because I really want to do them and know what you guys want as the audience. Anyway, back to the video. The book we got is uh, Secret Invasion. I love on the back we have Wolverine versus a scroll version of Spider-Man. Pretty epic. And this cover, I recognize this cover. Again, I said there was a book I had of Iron Man comics throughout the years. Like images and like describing certain parts and like the timeline of Iron Man. In that book, they also talk about Secret Invasion. And that was a very interesting concept. And I wanted to show... Um, you guys, what Secret Invasion is, because the show came out, and unfortunately, it's not the look. Could you say that slower, my son? What? What the fuck? I, 
I think it is the lowest rated Disney show, which is sad because I actually kind of like the series. The finale was a little bit off because of the final fight scene, but I kind of liked it because it was a little different from the superhero stuff. It was kind of like a spy thriller that was kind of fascinating for me. I enjoyed the series. I wouldn't say it's my favorite though. I'll probably do an, um, a review of that after which is most likely going to be my next video, is probably the review of Barbenheimer, which is next. And um, then The Flash and probably some other stuff. Because I'm saving. I'm saving for big books because this is my life. <laughs> I love on this cover. Anyways, as I was saying, it was in a book I had as a kid with like a timeline of Iron Man and stuff. I went way off topic. But it had this cover on it. And I love the art. And I just love this style of Iron Man it is very unique. And I know it's the extremist suit because this does take place before the Matt Fraction and Salvador La Roca run and after Civil War and after Iron Man Extremis. At least that's what I know so far. And it is from like during the new Avengers storyline. So this does take place uh, before the Illuminati book, which I have. And I might collect like the full edition sometime. But um, yeah, that book is amazing. And now I want to like collect the whole storyline, different like Avengers comics. They have an omnibus for this and they have a Inhumans part of this. And I might collect the hardcover of this later or the omnibus of this later. And I wanted to read the book so I can compare it to the series. I just want to like compare like what they did and what they didn't do from for the show that's different from the book. Let's read the back. Who do you trust? The shape-shifting alien race known as the Skrulls have secretly infiltrated every superpowered organization on Earth with one goal, full-scale invasion. Now the invasion is here. The Marvel Universe is in shambles. The Skrull Empire plan has birthed itself into perfection. It's is hero versus hero, resurrections and reunions. Is Tony Stark a scroll? Page after page unveils reveal after reveal and shocking moment after shocking moment. Brian Michael Bendis and, and Lionel Francis Yu leap off the pages of the mega hit New Avengers and deliver a story that will forever alter the Marvel Universe. Expect change. Collect Secret Invasion 1 through 8. Okay, so some of the art inside does remind me of the Illuminati. I think um, at some point in this book, they do form the Illuminati because the Illuminati run is written by Brian Michael Bendis. It will be interesting to see what all what all these have to offer. And yeah, um, Tony Stark, I think, is head of S.H.I.E.L.D. still. Everything is going to hell, essentially. And they have uh, Luke Cage right here. because And Luke Cage and Spider-Man and Wolverine are very important parts of the story. And yeah, they also do mention um, Elektra being a scroll because they find her body. And also Black Bolt being a scroll. Yeah, they've got like everybody. It's like, who do you trust? Everyone is against everyone. And that's why I find it strange. It's like, you don't know. Everything is different. I love how like before every chapter, they have like an embrace change. And also like, you never know who is a scroll. It could be your lover. It could be your kid. It could be you. All right. So um, yeah, that is uh, Secret Invasion. The art is amazing. And I love that. Let's take a look next at the Brian Michael Bendis. Man, this video is just going to be Brian Michael Bendis Hall. Brian Michael Bendis is Invincible Iron Man run. Uh, I got this off of eBay. It was in, it's in great condition. I love it a lot. And this is actually the first time we ever see this suit, which is actually the design Ironheart uses in the future for her suit. Yeah, she does meet Ruby Williams, I think. Um, yeah, the art is amazing. Again, just by looking at, hey, let me see if I can, yeah, just by this image alone right here, that's pretty epic. Um, I love that. And also Spider-Man, again, makes an appearance in this book. Many appearances of great characters. And the, this is the first time we see um, Amanda, what's her name? Amanda Armstrong, who in the Dan Slott Omnibus of Iron Man, which I do have, they talk about Amanda Armstrong actually being Tony's biological mother, which is pretty interesting. And I love that and seeing how all that plays out in the Dan Slott Iron Man omnibus. Yeah, this book takes place before Marvel Civil War 2. And I um, might get that, but first I gotta get the first Civil War for all of that. But yeah, let's read the back. The unbeatable Bendis takes on the invincible Iron Man. One of the most celebrated writers in comics, one of the most famous heroes, two of the industry's biggest artistic talents, Brian Michael Bendis unites with David Marquez and Mike Di Diodato Jr. to chart a new course for the Armored Avenger. Before tearing apart Tony Stark's world, an old enemy returns, Madame Mask. A new friend emerges in Mary Jane Watson, and Tony encounters someone who may turn out to be both, Victor Von Doom as you've never seen him before. Along the way, you'll see Iron Man team up with Doctor Strange and Spider-Man and meet the Marvel Universe sensation in, in waiting, Riri Williams. But what will 
set Tony and best pal Rhodey on the path of devastation that leads to, si to Civil War II. So I wonder what Madame Mask does to like piss off Tony, and I wonder how Doctor Doom will play a role in this story. Again, it's sort of like friend, friend and foe. And, um, I don't know, it might be interesting to see. But, uh, yeah, uh, that was pretty epic. I can't wait to read all these. So, I can't really say anything for the shipping. It was 10 out of 10 for the first one, but, um, the other one I found in a store. So, everything was 10 out of 10. Everything across the board, 10 out of 10. I really love that. Uh, yeah, but uh, anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Please do subscribe to my friends. Their channels are in the description down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!